In this video, we show the interpolation schemes we use for sampling the, the wind field. By pressing G over the, with the mouse over the, one of the less screens, we can see the grid that we're using for defining the wind field. Each vertex has one vector assigned to it. So a particle that's over that vertex should take on that speed, the speed specified by that vector. Now, most particles will be within a cell, and we need to specify an interpolation scheme in order to get the vector that corresponds. Right now, by default, I am using bilinear interpolation. This will take only the, the closest four vertices and, and interpolate across them in order to get the value for the vector. In this case, we can see that vertices close to the separation in the middle in my wind field we tend to accelerate slowly first of all the, the, ver the particles in the middle will only interpolate across those small vectors the first row of vectors in each wind field which is usually have, has a fairly small value and they're in opposite directions so the particles will accelerate slowly and once they, they, they get into the wind field, they'll speed up. Now, I will switch to uh, bicubic interpolation. In this case, I am taking four vertices into consideration. By pressing the, the, um, the I key, I can switch to bicubic. We can see that performance of the system will go down a little bit because by cubic interpolation requires a lot more uh, computation. But nevertheless, we can see that the speed of the particles close to the center is not so different from the ones that are a little further away. This is because the particles that are in the middle of the row now have more vertices to compute a speed from, and it's more likely to have a higher speed. Therefore, particles will accelerate faster.